Persons have came a long way. Have you ever wondered where the creation came about? Handbags were created in the 14th century when they used drawstring bags that carried money that were attached to the girdle by a long cord at the waist. In the 15th century, medieval knights were given the bride a pouch at the wedding gift with love stories all over it. In the 16th century, women started to wear pouches beneath their petticoats, and men also wore leather pockets to also carry money in. In the 17th century, young girls were taught to sew and make a leading rise in hand-stitched handbags. In the 18th century, slender dresses became popular and left no room at all underneath for the girdle where the drawstrings were able to hang. So along with that, they had to make a higher demand in handbags. In the 19th century, women wanted to make handbags and show them off to their husbands. And that's when they first came into play. In the early 1900s, leather shopping bags and briefcases could be worn around the shoulder. In the 1930s, the shoulder bag, satchel, clasp bag, and the clutch became fashionable. In the 1940s, a bag came out for the military to carry the supplies that decided to start making them look better with metal frames, zippers, velcro, leather, mirrors, any kind of accessories on it. In the 1950s, accessorizing with a handbag became a normal thing. In the 18, in the, I'm sorry, in the 1980s, there was a demand for health and fitness handbags. Today, there was a call to there was a handbag called Mishi. This creation came about when a woman was on her way home from work the one day in her car and something had spilled all over the, the outside of her purse and she had to hurry up, go home, and she was on her way to some kind of event that night and she didn't have any time to change anything in her purse over so she went in her room, took out scissors and tape and started to cut away at the outside of all of her purses and she actually had taken apart the outside and she started to tape apart or tape together all of the outside of one purse to another. The quotations that they go by is one bag with endless possibilities. So this is where bags are at now. Handbags were never a popular item until the 1950s. Who would ever have thought that? Ever since the, her the first handbag was developed in the 14th century, the handbags became more popular and more obscene looking and more adventurous. Look at the bags now that Amishi has where you can change just the outside of the handbag, where you can have one base bag, they call it, with multiple outside shells. I actually have a Mishi handbag here to show you. This, sorry, try to you can see it. This is the base bag. Just a normal outside bag with the zipper and, you know, that's it. Right here is metal in it, and that is metal that's good for credit cards, cell phones, anything. Like it won't deactivate credit cards, nothing like that. And there comes things like these that are shells. And each different shell has a name, like this one's called Alyssa on it. And they're just magnetic and they clip right to the outside. So you want to open it. Put that on the bottom, and it literally just clips on, and that's it. And then, that's your handbag. So you go from having like a black outside bag to a nice fancy bag if you want to go out. And if you want to take it off, you just have to undo the magnet, and then take it off. And that's it. So where handbags have come today from, you know, the early 14th century is pretty crazy. You know, it's something that women right now cannot live without. 
whether they go to a special event like a wedding or just even going to school, they bring a bag with them to carry their money, put their wallets in it, their makeup, um, pens, pencils, you know, anything, you name it, it's probably in there. It's crazy what you can find in girls' purses. I definitely could not live without my purse at all. That's a, a big fact. Handbags are one of the best creations that the mankind could ever come up with. 